One of the most useful features on an iPhone, and it also exists on Android, is something called guided access. So if you're a parent or a grandparent who hands your child or your grandchild your iPhone or iPad from time to time, and you don't want them wandering around to other places, you want them to do that one thing, play that one game or watch that one video and not wander off to other places, guided access can do that. It can lock a kid into a specific spot. And this is really important because not all adult phones, even though I want them to all have the same filters, I know that's not always true. I've received so many emails from parents over the years whose kids wandered into Safari or some browser and got into content they shouldn't have. Now on Android, it's called pinned apps, but I'm gonna show you how to set this up on an iPhone and iPad right now. Okay, I'm gonna show you how to activate guided access. So go into settings, and then you go under accessibility, and then all the way down at the bottom, go to under general guided access and toggle it on. Now when you triple click, when you're in an app, you can lock a kid into only using that app. Next, I want you to go to passcode settings. I want you to set a passcode. This lets you turn guided access off and on. I'm just using a bunch of ones to make it simple. And then I want you to turn on the accessibility shortcut. This will give you even more options. Now, I've noticed that guided access can be a little bit finicky, that sometimes the iPhone doesn't activate it when you've toggled it on. So I come in here and I'll toggle it off and on a couple of times just to like convince the iPhone that this is what I really want to do. And now I'm gonna show you how this works inside of a specific app. Okay, I'm gonna open up Apple Music, and when I'm in it, I'm gonna triple click the side, and I'm going to be given some guided access options. Now at the bottom, what's really cool is it says circle areas on the screen you would like to disable. And I can circle a spot, like where it says now playing. Let's say I didn't want a kid to play something, which would be silly in Apple Music, but it'll show you the example. Now I'm gonna hit start, I'm gonna have to put in the passcode to start it up, and now what's gonna be true is wherever I've circled, not only are they locked in an app, but now they can't do where I've circled gray. So if you don't want them to hit play on the next video or go somewhere else on a game, you can actually gray out areas. It's super useful. Now to get out of this, again, just do the triple click thing on the side. You'll be prompted to put in your passcode and then you'll be able to end guided access. There you go. Like I said, on Android, it's called pinned apps. Now I'll give you the instructions for activating pinned apps in the caption. Friends, let's use this feature to keep our kids safe on our devices. And remember, iPads are just big iPhones, so let's keep them from wandering around on those too.